So, I have just a few night crawlers out here today. I've only got about four. So I'm going to try to catch some minnows and transfer them over to either the hand line. I also brought my rod and reel out here. Show that to you. Here it is over there standing up. And we'll see if we can actually catch anything. Finally caught one and it is the perfect size for bait. So we're going to transfer this to the hand line and cast that out. notice I put the uh, the hand line back behind that log there. That'll make sure if something grabs onto the bait it won't pull the whole line and everything, the whole reel, off into the water. It'll sit there behind that log and spin. You can see the bobber or not out there, but whenever that bobber goes down and stays down, that means a big fish is on. And it just went down and it's staying down. So let's see if we got anything. It's okay to let them run with it for a minute. They got to get that big thing in their mouth. all happen pretty pretty fast here but as you can see the old bass came back for it so the amount of time that you let him run with the bait is pretty much determined by how hard you think it's going to be for them to get the bait in their mouth as you see this one's not real big So it took him a minute to actually get it in his mouth so that I could set the hook. Alright, there we go. We got one bass. We'll get him on the stringer and we'll do it all over again. I think we got something on the hand line. pressure I'm gonna set the hook.
like I said, it felt like he was trying to get it in his mouth. There's the tail of the bait right there. So, yeah, that that was tough for him to swallow. <laughs> but he looks like a keeper to me, so we're gonna keep him. Guys, I just caught the biggest fish that I've ever caught in my life, and I have no clue what this thing is. Holy smokes! What is this thing? It's massive! Gee, it's got some serious strength, I'll tell you what now. I ain't got a clue what that is. I don't know. <laughs> Let's see if I can. Here's the inside of his mouth again. See, he's got these little sharp teeth. Man, I wish I still had my fishing scale. Holy mackerel. That's that's not a mackerel. <laughs> Man. Uh. Well this is Garrett Lake, River Monsters edition. <laughs> I'll have to look up what this is and I'll I'll put a little uh, annotation right in here so you can see that uh I'd have got reeling that in on camera. <laughs> but I was just about to leave. I was just about to leave. Because I'm out of bait. I thought for sure he was going to break my line. planer. Okay. Well, guys, I really don't know what to say about that. I'm going to have to ask around, see if anybody knows what it is. I'll look it up whenever I get home. But geez, it feels like it's close to 10 pounds. Woo wee Anyways, guys, uh, Uh, <laughs> till next time, thumbs up. <laughs> I just got back from Pillowville Gun Repair, and they have a scale that is made for weighing uh, the trigger weight on guns for doing repairs and whatnot. And it goes up to 12 pounds. So we put this fish on there to see exactly how much it weighed and it came out exactly to eight and a half pounds. So there you go. It's an eight and a half pound bowfin. It's a big one. Definitely a first for me.